In this video we're going to look at the delete command. This is the last of the four basic commands which can be remembered by the word CRUD. Create, read, update, delete. In SQL, insert is used to create new records. Select is used to read records. Update is used to update records. And delete is used to delete records. But the term CRUD can be very memorable to ensure that you have everything possible covered within a new system. So in our previous video, when we were looking at the insert command, we created a lot of new records within the department table. We created all of these cleaning records. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go through and delete some of them. So the command is simply delete from and then the table name. And then we have a where statement. And just like every other where statement, we're able to outline the parameters to define the specific subsets that we're going to delete. So in this case, we're going to delete the row where the department number is 100. And if we run this command now, that record will have been deleted out of our table. It's very important that you remember to use the where part of this statement, because if you just deleted the entire table, all of the data will disappear and there will be no second chance to recover it. So we're just going to go through and we're going to delete the rest of these cleaning departments now. So we're just going to delete everything where the department name is cleaning. But we're going to leave one instance of it, this first one, in Manchester. So we can combine different parts of the where clause to actually help us outline our specific subset more clearly. So now we're going to delete all of the instances of cleaning which are not based in Manchester. So if we run this command now we will run into the same problem which we did with the update command, which was the fact that we were using, or rather that MySQL is by default in safe mode, which prevents us from deleting data without using a specific primary key to identify the records. So we can overcome this by just turning safe updates off again. Now all of the instances where the department location, which is not Manchester, have been deleted, but it has left the instances where it's null. And so to get around that, we can just group this together, and we can say and department location is not null. Should be an all. So we can change this to another as well to remove these instances. So we could command 
continue like this and list all of the individual numbers. But instead we're going to use the in command. Which allows us to specify a list or an array if you're using a normal programming language. And because we've got these three department numbers in our list and we run this command, all of those remaining records will be deleted because they were all in that list. Now just to end off this video, it's probably worth highlighting the fact that delete is probably the least used command in all of the SQL commands. If you think of a YouTube database for example, it's unlikely that when you delete accounts, that account and all of the data associated with it will also be deleted. Most commonly, companies will have an additional column in their databases, something like live, which will either be set to true or false. And when you delete your account, the value of that field will simply be changed from true to false. And so it is unlikely that you will use the delete command very frequently, because it's almost always the case that Retaining the information in some form is more preferable for the company than it is for them to actually delete the data altogether.